Hot damn it. Woo. You're really loud to plan it. Woo. Go ahead, go ham sandwich. Woo. Oh, I can't stand it. Woo. You know what to do with a big fat butt. Hello, Helium Bandicoot here. <laughs> That's actually the start as well. Um, yeah, alright, welcome back to another little video. Coming on back with another little video. Video, 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 video. Um, bit of rap there from me. Professional. Notice anything different about me? Well, you've probably noticed that this mic is. You've got a new, we got a new haircut. Um, yeah, actually, no, I haven't. Still very long. Um, well, yeah, basically. Welcome back to another little video, which is similar to the um, existing one that we did, where we discussed E3 predictions and wishes pre E3. E3 is over now. It's the 18th of June, 2010. So, <laughs> plus, oh, wow. plus four. 18th uh, of June, 2014. So E3. 2012. You mean? They actually ended. Uh, E3 actually ended quite a while ago, to be honest, because the, the direct, uh, Nintendo digital event was actually eight days ago, so it was like over a week ago, but they had all the, um, that was on Monday, I think, and then they had all of the treehouse and everything on E3 actually going on throughout the week, so yeah, so basically we're just going to talk about... Um, My first favourite uh, feature of E3 is the new hostile mob added to Minecraft Snapshot 14W25A. Basic, what? What is it? I don't know. The, just added to him. I think it's a water model, like a shark or something like that. Oh, that's what I got. I'll look at it in a minute. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's the same. Um, it's the same thing as the previous one that we did, but now we're just gonna actually reflect on the news and like say what we like. Shit, sea lanterns. Really? I'm sorry. I'm, oh my god, is that real? That's bullshit. Man. Oh, that is real I saw as well. A Facebook post before that said um, Justin Bieber found dead in his um, <laughs> in his uh, tour bus, and I was like, "This is," and then I was like, "Holy shit!" Oh. Holy shit! There's new, there's new sand, there's new like, gra there's new stuff in the water, there's new water stuff in this update. Yeah. All right, let's oh, let's, let's let's talk about that later. Yeah, that's coming <laughs> to the end of the video. That's a lot bonus. Let's get to the task at hand before this video is. Because this has been going for two minutes and forty seconds now, so <laughs> and we've not even started saying anything. Anyway, basically, we're just going to reflect on E3, um, and we're going to focus on the Nintendo stuff. Off my mirror already. We're going to focus on the Nintendo stuff once again. Um, the reason this is a bit late is because my my headset broke, so I had to buy a new headset. So you can probably notice that the mic quality is a bit it's a bit shitter than. Um, the previous mic, but this headset's better. The headset I had previously was the PX21s, and now I've got the Z22s, so technically they should be better, and they are better in every way, apart from the, um, the actual mic itself, which is a little bit shitter, but oh well. You know, I'm not the one who has to listen to it, listen to it all day on Skype, like, so I don't really care, apart from when I'm making videos, but... Uh, it's 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 pretty good to be honest. It's 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 quite good. But anyway, so before we talk about Nintendo, which you can probably see on screen, I've I'm being a bit lazy this time, Nick. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not going all out this time. I've, mm -hmm. had, I've had a hard day today playing Mario Kart 8. Hard day, nice. Head over to the channel to see the Mario Kart 8 uh, highlights playlist that I've created. Sick one, uh, racked. It's a promotion there. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had a hard day playing Mario Kart and uh, I couldn't be asked get forking out and getting a bunch of shitty little high res uh, screenshots from E3. So instead, I've got a bit of window capture going on here, and I've got uh, I'm on Nintendo's official YouTube channel, and I've got um. I mean, Nif Niventa. We yeah. can't say Nintendo just copyright. Leave look to heaven's official um, YouTube channel here, and I'm just gonna head through this. And go across Jeez. the E3, um, E3 thing. So if you don't want to, you don't obviously this is kind of a podcasty type type thing. But I've got the video aid, the video Podcast. aid, because it's YouTube. <laughs> so if you want to um, just tab out and play Papa's Burgeria on Flipline.com, then be then be my guest. But 
I'm gonna be doing the video. You should uh you should purchase V uh all the letter V six times or V V V V V V on iOS and bash that shit whilst you're doing it. It's only one ninety nine. It's possibly the best game I've ever played. Then again, you probably want to listen to the music of that, don't you? So that's not. Yeah, good. but once you do, you also want to listen to our beautiful voices. So. Okay. All right. Um, I also just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Owen Seabrook because um I basic I was talking to him. Uh, before the event, or it might have been during the event, and I was like, "You should come on the channel and speak and be in this uh, and be in the video after when we record our like thoughts after E3." But he's, and he said, he's, he's, and he's, he's said that, oh. that he's not in it because basically at the time we're recording this, we just I haven't uh, I, can't, I can't be asked to add him to the call, so he's probably uh, he's probably not online at the minute and um, this is the time we're recording it and it's about eight days after so we probably need to get this fucking done dusted and uploaded so done dusted dusted like your mom does dusting in the winter and the summer and the spring, spring. and once we do this um i'm actually going to be playing minecraft on the latest snapshot like all these <laughs> please don't because then i'll be hearing clicky clicky make tricky tricky all, all two, every two seconds well, only every two though no 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 not on, not, none of that please Anyway, yeah, as similar to before, Nick doesn't even know anything about E3. Yeah, because I've been doing fucking exams throughout the whole piece of shit time it was on. I finished mine early, so I was lucky, but... You can't. So before we start the Nintendo thing, which is the focus, I'll just quickly talk about a couple of things. Um, so there was a Sony conference, a Microsoft conference, an EA conference, and a Ubisoft conference as well. Uh, they were all good, in my opinion. Uh, I watched them all live, and Microsoft was first, and that was good. They unveiled the um, Halo Ultimate Master Chief Collection thing. So basically, they're re-releasing Halo One, Two, Three, and Four for the Xbox One in one di in one uh, game, like one collection, and it's all like HD, 60 frames per second. So that's going to be really that's 100 frames per second, a million frames per second. That's really good. That, um, and then they also uh, mm. had that thing with where they teased Conquer. And then they basically said, make your own game. You little fucking pricks. I know about that prefer, one. Like, if they're not going to make it, at least they've given you the option. Like, I yeah, but, some, someone's going to make a really good Conker game. Like that. Yeah, but even so, it's not fucking fair that we should have to do it. What would you so? rather have? Like, a Conker's equivalent of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, or um, a fucking, like, someone who actually loves Conker making a fan game. Yeah, but then they'll just fucking instantly get lawyers up the butt. It's just kind of like a kick in the dick. It's kind of like saying, hey, fans, be honest. Do you want to because if they've got the Conker's license and it's within this, like, Spark thing, then... Yeah, but that's still... You can't still... get really licensing. Alright, anyway, um, EA. I was looking forward to seeing Battlefront. We said that on the thing, and they did show it. They showed, um... Some in game, some in engine stuff, which and it looked good, but then they basically said, We've not done it yet, wait a bit longer. So That's because they hadn't done it yet, yet, so they needed uh, a well. Uh, so then, um, EA, I can't really think of anything else for EA, I don't really care either. EB. Uh, you had, well, and then Sony, you had a bunch of, basically, you had a bunch of games, but <laughs> I don't have a list in front of me, so. Uh, honourable mentions are obviously Far Cry 4, um, they showed that, it was very good, it looked very good. Oh, like Far Cry 4. Rainbow Six looked very good. Um, Tom Clancy's. Yeah. Tom Hardy. Very soon. Tom Hardy. Kevin Tom Hanks. Sp Kevin Spacey's Rainbow Six. Oh yeah, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looked good as well. Um, no, it didn't look good. It did actually, the gameplay demo actually looked really good. Well, you know, it didn't look good though. What? I don't know. That wasn't at show, so, luckily. Um, also, two, four, so this Tomb, the new Tomb Raider game. I wow. missed out a lot of stuff, but um, I don't really. They, I, we're focusing on Nintendo for this because Nintendo's like Nintendo. Because Nintendo won E3 this year. Well, for me, yeah. For the me. only the only thing I would say about Nintendo's conference was the fact that, like, the main conference was forty five minutes long, and then they had like af after the forty five minute direct like program they had. A whole week of like Nintendo Treehouse where they had like people demoing games and stuff, and then they had like some news coming out throughout the week as well that wasn't in the video. But it felt a little bit short for me because like I'd just watched the Sony one, which was like an hour and a half, I think it was 90 minutes, so it was like a little bit short. But 
they don't really care anyway. Sure, but sweet anyway. We got the news in the in the week, so um, yeah, and basically, right. So one thing that I want to say is the creators of Limbo. I can't remember the name of the com of the developer. Rush, but, Rush Limbo. Uh, is that the name? No, that was just the name of them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the, the the developers of Limbo showed the new game called Inside, which looks really good. So obviously, can't wait for that. And then also, I haven't, I haven't actually, I think I've heard about that. I don't know. I've heard a bit of what what happened down at E down at good old E3, but not enough to yeah. able to be an extensive research knowledge. Also, madness. one of the games that actually rivals like Nintendo hype for me is below by Cappy Games, the people who made Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. And then they've got Jim Guthrie doing the sound and everything. They've got Jim Guthrie doing the music and it looks fucking amazing. It's like a, a like kind of a roguelike um I fucking love Zelda that. meets Dark Souls kind of game where you're, where you're just lobbed into the game, it doesn't tell you anything at all and you have to just explore these like caves and stuff and it looks yeah. fucking amazing. And it looks so good and I can't wait for that game to come out. But anyway, on with Nintendo, right. So Nintendo start off their conference with they partnered with Robot Chicken. You know Robot Chicken, like action figure, like yeah. kind of adult comedy program. Yeah. They like partnered with them and did like a little intro thing with like Reggie and like Robot Chicken. Yeah. And um, then they started with Satoru Iwata and Reggie having like this full on like pure fight scene which was just amazing it's playing on screen now and it was just like the best thing i've ever seen in my life and then that kind of evolves into them playing on the wii u and then you get the first unveiling which was um the unveiling of the me as a playable character in super smash brothers so obviously with the me you can be any character you want you just have to make them um and they showed like a few different me's that you could be uh and one of them was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. You know when Smash Brothers characters debut and it comes up like Mario would like the battle and stuff like that. It comes up with that that text, yeah. Well, one of them was uh, I don't even know if you're listening, but one of them was um, it came up with Elijah Wood's face and it said Elijah would like the battle. And that was actually in the conference. Elijah would like the battle. Yeah. Elijah Wood. Yeah, and it was the confirmed best. for find it, but new Nintendo director. Don't give that enough of a shit to to find it. But the characters that were confirmed was they confirmed Palutena from Kid Icarus Uprising and probably Kid, the original Kid Icarus on the one on Game Boy probably as well. Um, yeah. They confirmed her as a playable character. I don't really care about her to be honest, and I hope she doesn't talk either because in the Kid Icarus Uprising the, the, it did get a little bit annoying the voices after a while. And that's one of the reasons why I don't want um, The Legend of Zelda to have voice acting. Um, and then later on in the week, they didn't actually announce this in the conference, but they announced that Pac-Man is going to be a playable character as well. So that's good. Um, right, that's that. So they're all good. Uh, no Captain Falcon yet, which is worrying, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be in it. But Captain, Captain Falcon! And then they showed, like, various... Um, Super Smash Bros. 3DS stuff as well, which looks really, really good. And I, I was actually quite worried about that game, but because it wouldn't, you know, like it won't run as well as the Wii U. But um, it actually apparently runs at like 60 frames per second, like the main characters do it. So it's actually like really good, apparently. So I can't wait to get that. I'm going to get be getting both versions because why not? That's why. Uh, and then, do you want me to tell you a big, a big. Big thing about E3 2014. Shoot. To kill. I don't have a gun, but if I did, I would fucking shoot it, lad. I've got a picture of Reggie on the screen here, and he's about to unveil the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life, which is gonna destroy your wallet, lad. Yeah, the Steam's was You know those, um. Those. No, it's not. But have you seen Gaben.tv, the update with the new video? No, but I will be watching that at the moment. It's it absolutely amazing. <laughs> now, actually. No, don't watch it now, because you have to. You have to have complete silence to ignore to completely admire it. So just wait till the end. But it's fucking brilliant. It's better. Okay, than I'll wait. Uh, right, you know the figure yeah. thing we were talking about, like the Skylanders thing. 
Yeah, the figurine. Yeah, that they announced. Well, they showed more of that, and it's called Amiibo. Um, it's basically like Smash. Um, it's basically like the um, Disney Infinity thing that we were on about. But you basically, yeah, it's basically exactly what what we thought. It's like you scan the figures in and stuff. And then they showed the first line of figures. It's based off of Super Smash Brothers. So it's like um, Mario, Link, Samus. Zelda, Villager, all like main Slink. main characters. Yeah, Slink. Uh, well, he's going to be a season two figure. Fair enough. Figure. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of Luigi death stuff here. I don't. I don't remember why they were talking about that. But oh, I think it's because they announced that a bunch of games that's going to be compatible with in the future, like the ones that they announced for now, are the Smash Brothers figures. Yeah. And the way it works is you scan the Amiibo figure in. Um, so say you had um, a figure of Mario, you would scan it in, and then it has you can give that figure a customizable move set and like level it up with it individually. So it's completely optional for those figures, but it's worth it. So I'm probably just gonna buy like the Mario and Link ones, and then maybe the maybe Pikachu and Villager. But I don't see myself buying them all because they're, they're just like customizable move set things, so they don't really I don't really need them that much. Um, and then. Yeah, they're going to be, uh, the figures are going to work with, in future, there's going to be Amiibo for like Mario Kart 8 and Mario Party 10, which was announced, with Mario Party 10 is coming out. Uh, yeah. so when that comes out, I'll buy it, and then you can come around and we'll record playing that if you want, with the Wii U, that'll be good. Um, Mario Party 10. But yeah, Mario Kart 8 is going to spot, and then next they moved on to talk about um, Yarn Yoshi. Yarn Yoshi, which we saw uh, a while mm. back. Basically, have you heard about this? No. Well, it's basically like um, they actually showed a screenshot of it ages ago. I can't remember exactly when, but I was supposed to talk about it in the predictions thing, but I forgot to mention it. But it's basically um, they announced it now. It's called Yoshi's Woolly World, and it's a um, new Yoshi game coming out. You know, like Yoshi Story and, and that. Yeah. It's, an, it's the next one in that series, but it lo basically looks kind of like Kirby's Epic Yarn, but HD, and it looks a lot better, and it's like a Yoshi game, so it looks really good playing on screen now. And it's really good. Mm -hmm. So, probably going to be getting that. Then the, la the last Yoshi game on the, on the uh, 3DS didn't get very good reviews, um, but hopefully this one will be a lot better, and I think it will be. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got on this tasty little agenda? Still going on about Yoshi here. Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so Yoshi's really well. Right, next next game. Uh, Super Mario 3D World. Have you played it for the Wii U? You haven't played it, have you? I don't think you have. No. No, well, um, very good game, but it has this feature in it. Uh, it's obviously, it's kind of like a 3D platformer, like, um, that like Matt, like any it's a Mario 3D platformer but you have these special levels where you play as Captain Toad, yeah. And um it's basically Toad and you walk yeah. around and it's like these kind of puzzly like cubes where you walk around in um big um big ass cubes. Collecting like stars and they've they've made it there's a completely new game coming off that in holiday twenty fourteen called Captain Toad Treasure Checker and it does look very good. So yeah. I don't know if I'm going to definitely get that or not, but probably will have. Um, probably will. Right. Then, they moved on to arguably the most, the best announcement of the conference by a lot The most shop. best? Definitely the most talked about is the Legend of Zelda announcement. Have you heard or seen this? Hmm. Yeah. Or no? Yeah, okay. Oh, is the new Zelda game that like that like one that's just not in the timeline that's where it's like the hack and slash one? No. That's <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of Hyrule yeah, Warriors. Well, they did go about how I don't actually know if they mentioned how oh yeah, they did mention Hyrule Warriors in this. And there's there's news about that as well, but we'll talk about that in a minute. They mentioned when the the main you know, the main Oh yeah, there's all the twenty fifteen as well, isn't it? Yeah. For for coming out. And it looks absolutely amazing. Mm. Basically Asia Numa. Um snapped his fingers and then like the landscape appeared in the background here and then a little trailer page and um yeah it's amazing yeah it's amazing can't wait for it to come out basically um let's go there's actually 
uh, a bit like some a lot of discussion going about as well. Um, because Link has got like long hair on the sides, you know, like the bangs that he has in the Link in the Link, in the Link to the Past. Like, and everyone was going, um, "Is it a girl? It's a girl. You play as Zelda in the new Zelda game. You play as Zelda. It's not Link. It's a woman." <laughs> Like, and I'm actually, like, you probably think it's a piss take because I have that voice that I'm talking in, but I'm actually being serious. The amount of people that were going on saying that made me want to gouge my eyes out with a spoon. And then, you know, the, uh, as Yonuma said, we never specifically said it was Link in the video, yeah. So that basically just sparked a fucking frenzy of people going, You play as a girl in the new Zelda. <laughs> and then literally like a couple of days later, Onuma realised how much it, how much like how stupid people were being and then just went, Yeah, it's Link. <laughs> That's why fucking point. So just basically if you're having any wonder about if Link's a girl or Link is not Link, then just shut up, please, because it is Link. I actually like the style of Link, Link as well. Link, 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 it Link, is, Link. It's kind of like the next step up from Wind Waker, so it's basically a mixture between Wind Waker and, um... Waker Wind. Fez. <laughs> no. Well, uh, the next Hyrule Warriors, right. So we already knew that, um, oh no, next is they played a little trailer for Pokemon, um, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby with gameplay, and they showed the Mega Evolutions for, um, there's Fortree City there, I don't know if you saw it, not very good. So basically, oh, they showed a bunch of gameplay from the game, obviously, and it looks amazing. Gen 3 is obviously my favourite Pokemon gen, so I can't wait for this game to come out. And there's the Mega Evolutions, Sceptile, Blaziken, and we already have Blaziken, but... Sceptile and Swampert though. We actually, these were already revealed before E3, but like, that made them certain. Um, yeah, I like them. I like them all. I like them a lot. And then, yeah, there's gameplay. Um, right next we have, I think this is Hyrule Warriors gameplay? No? No, this is Bayonetta. So, you know Bayonetta 2 is coming out, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, they basically announced that Bayonetta 2 um, is basically on disc. If you buy Bayonetta 2, it comes included with Bayonetta 1 instantly. So you basically get Bayonetta 1 and 2 for the price of Bayonetta 2. So I actually think that's really good. And this, was a, this was a game that I was not going to get because um, I don't really care about this type of game. It, it just didn't appeal to me at all. And another thing was like... It, the fact, like the fact that it was like the second game, just made it worse because I was like, well, if it's like story or whatever, I mean, I don't think story would matter too much. Well, I don't know because I've never played it, but like that put me off even more. But now the fact that you get one and two, like that, does kind of make me want to buy the game. So we'll see. But they also announced costumes as well. So there's going to be like there's a Princess Peach costume which just came on. There's a Metroid costume, a Samus, I mean, um, and then there's a Link costume and stuff. So. It's quite good, but yeah, I don't, still don't know. Right, next they moved on to Hero Warriors. Um, yeah! So we already knew that um, Impa and uh, Link were going to be playable characters in this, didn't we? But now they announced two more characters. They announced um, Zelda as a playable character, which is awesome. Um, where is she? And they announced. Midna as a playable character, you know, from Twilight Princess. So. Yeah. And you ride around on Wolf, Wolf Link. Oh, well, that's that's actually fucking cool, so. to be honest. Uh, I definitely, I'm definitely going to be getting this game. It does look, seem to look to get a bit repetitive, the gameplay, but I mean, it's not a main Zelda game, you have to remember that. It's like a spin off game to like. As Brian Altano said in the most recent NBC, it's the appetizer before the main meal that is Zelda Wii U for 2015. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Next up, they announced a fucking clay Kirby game for the Wii U. Kirby? Yeah. Like, we've got Yarn Yoshi, we've got Plasticine Kirby, what's next? Pipe Cleaner Wario. 
get it together, game designers. That's all the comedy for me this week. Uh, I'll see you next tomorrow with. Goodbye, my... everybody. So they announced Clay Kirby. Um, this is basically just a trailer, but it looks very, very good. It looks awesome. Um, I'm not a very big Kirby fan, to be honest. Um, but oh, who knows? I might get this game. I might not. Yeah, you may, you I'm may not. That. I don't want to make any promises here, you know. Promise me right now, I don't, to, I don't want to promise anything. You know, money's money's a money's a precious thing in 2014, and I just want to be throwing it away. <laughs> Next, uh, they talked about um, you know X from Monolith Software that we were talking about in the prediction video. Mm. Well, they showed a lot of that, but. Quite frankly, I don't want to talk about it, so I'm just going to skip it. Um, yeah, I've literally just skipped it because I can't be asked talking about it, but it looks awesome. It looks like the greatest uh, thing in the world. It looks really good, but I just really am not in the mood to talk about it in a minute, so I'm going to the next one. Um, next one is something absolutely brilliant, Nick, and I don't know if you've heard about it, but if you haven't, you're going to cry because it's so... Cool. Is it? Let me guess. 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 Okay, I'm never gonna guess. Is it the new Star Fox game? No. But cross your fingers for that because that might be coming up later. But you never know. Um. Right. It is Mario Maker. Have you seen mm. this? Mm-hmm. No. No. Well, basically, it's a Mario game coming out for the Wii U. Um. And. You use the touchpad, it's a grid interface, and it's the original Super Mario Brothers for the NES, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All the exact same physics from the original Super Mario Brothers game. And you literally drag in anything you want and make any Mario course you fucking want, and it's brilliant. What? 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 so good. And That's a real thing. obviously going to be able to share your courses with other people and stuff, and it just looks absolutely amazing. And also... One thing that's really good about it is you can instantly change the look of the game from the original Super Mario Brothers on NES to New Super Mario Brothers U for the Wii U. Um, but the physics stay as the original NES game one because on the New Super Mario Brothers U physics they're slightly different because you can do like triple jumps when you're running and stuff. Triple jump, on jump. This, the physics stay exactly the same, and I actually think that's awesome. But I'm probably going to be playing the NES one more. Ooh. But this just makes me think. And I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure that they're going to do this. Is um, They're going to have like textures for Super Mario Bros. 2 and Super Mario Bros. 3 as well. And how good would it be if you had the Super Mario Bros. 3 graphics? Because Super Mario Bros. 3 on NES graphics are probably the best, I reckon. Super Mario World graphics. Free! Fuck that. Yeah, Super Mario. Mario. Super Mario World graphics are the best. Super Mario World. Oh my god. So, World. Like, I'm pretty sure that they're going to release them as like DLC later on. Um, and I'll definitely lap them up like a parched dog. Next, we have another huge announcement, Nick, and I don't think my little heart can take much more. And I accidentally just clicked onto Yogg's on Tour YouTube video, <laughs> which is now on screen, showing a picture of Sips and Lewis Brindley from the Yogg's cast. Right, let's go back onto the, the Nintendo thing, right? Um, so you can see it's an orange thing, and I actually thought this was Nick Nickelodeon the game. When I Nickelodeon! Like Splatoon. Have you heard about this? No. You've not heard about this at all? No. Well, this is becoming a very hard task for me to explain things, these kind of things, but basically, it's a, it's a new first party game, a new IP for Nintendo, yeah. And basically, you play, right? You play as a kid who can transform into a squid. Squid Kid! We'll see you next week on Graham Norton's show. Squid Kid! Right, uh, basically, yeah, it's a first party uh, third person shooter game, yeah? You have four people on each team, online, fighting. There's a third person shooter, and you have paintball guns, and the aim of the game is to cover as much of the course in your team's ink colour as you can. So it's a tactical, like, game, yeah? And then at the end of the game, the team with the highest percentage of balls covered in their colour ink wins. But you can transform into a squid, yeah? And swim through your colour ink 
and it's actually it looks very fun. I was watching it on Nintendo Treehouse and it it did get a bit repetitive because the course got boring after a while because they were only demoing one course. But I'm definitely going to be getting this and it looks very promising. It's going to be fun to play online. Um, this could Great be kid. Yeah, I'm good. This is one of those things that I can't really explain to you because I'll have to send you an idea of it. But I'm happy with it. Basically, just the like squid kid, pretty much. Just. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really. They like they spent a lot of time on it in the conference, and some people said they they weren't really, they didn't really think they should have spent that much time on it. But I actually do think they should have because it is a new IP, so fair enough. Like, and it is like a major game coming out, so fair enough. But yeah, but yeah, it definitely does look good. But I mean, it's not. It didn't make me shit my pants. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't shit myself, but. Like, I shit myself for Zelda and, like, Pokemon and, like, Mario Maker, but I didn't shit myself for this, but I'm definitely going to buy it, and it definitely does look good, so, yeah. That's that. Um, no. Also, what else do we have? Um, right, obviously, the Smash Brothers Invitational, did you, you know about that, didn't you, the, the tournament that went on? Yeah. Yeah, well, that started at midnight. I can't remember what day it was, but I watched the whole thing and it was actually dead good. Um, it, was, it was really good to watch, it was really fun to watch, it was, it was very good and I'm obviously looking forward to Smash Brothers Wii U. And that's actually it, apart from the Palutena announcement, but there is a little bit more news that came throughout the week. Um, so you know the people who made Fire Emblem? Yeah. Um, the Fire Emblem game, you know the Fire Emblem games, yeah? Yeah. Uh, well. The people who made that um, launched a new IP called Project Steam, um, and basically it's like a turn base. I don't actually know much about it to be honest with you, but it's like a, a turn based kind of, um, it's basically like a turn based kind of game, like shooter game yeah. for, for the 3DS, um, but I can't really explain much about it, but yeah. And also, um, Shigeru Miyamoto has been working on three different titles, yeah? Yeah. One of them is the new Star Fox game, which is going to be coming in 2015, and we didn't see um, much of it. I think there's a little tease of it at the end. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here's the tease. You can see it. You can see it kind of blurry there. So it uses the Wii U pad, obviously, um, and it looks awesome. Obviously, I'm going to be getting that. Um, but he also showed Project Giant Robot and Project Guard, which were two games that are designed to like utilize the Wii U gamepad to its full potential. So like Project Giant Robot, you basically build a giant robot, and then you know like in, in Power Rangers when they have they go into the Megazords and then beat the shit out of each other, and it's supposed to be a giant robot in a town destroying the buildings, but it's actually just like the buildings made out of cardboard, and it's too regular sized people just fighting like that sounds fucking intense yeah, it's basically that basic you know cemetery dreams the game yeah it's basically that but you're a robot in a, in a thing and then um the wii u gamepad you tilt it to control the torso of the robot and then each analog stick controls the fists of each robot it actually looks yeah. pretty awesome i'm definitely gonna get it project guard um but actually, they're not definite games. Like they might be part of another game or something. But I'm, whatever that turns into, I'm gonna get it. But Project Guard is basically a kind of tower defense game. But you control like eleven different cameras, and you actually require someone else in the room to shout at you at which at which um, camera people are attacking from. So you can go to that that security camera and destroy the enemy. So you need two players. So we'll get that as well, and then we'll be able to, we can play that and play it on the channel. Because yeah. we actually require multiple players to play it. So we'll see play that. I've just got the um, trailer here for Pac-Man, Hungers for Battle. So I'll just get that playing in the background. But um, yeah, so th that's about it, actually, really. Yeah. That is about it. I, f I, f I feel like I've, I've missed a note. Man, oh, yeah. I feel very, like very a woman. Quickly, this is non three, but you know we were talking about Majora's Mask 3D, possibly. Um, a couple of things about that. Firstly, you know Zelda Williams, Robin Williams' daughter, who did those Ocarina of Time 3D adverts? Yeah. yeah. She was at the um, 
Smash Brothers tournament because they had like a celebrity thing where they played, and she brought her fucking Majora's mask out and held yeah. it up, and everyone cheered, and then she put it down like, and then um, you know, like the company that made um Ocarina of Time 3D because they didn't actually like Nintendo didn't make it themselves. They handed it off to Grezzo to develop it. Yeah, and um, Grezzo basically um have just have just like. I can't remember what, what exactly what it was, but Grezzo are now accepting like um, new people to work there at Grezzo. Yeah. Like, what I've just said was the most badly worded thing I've ever said in my life. But basically, Grezzo are employing. That that's the yeah. word I was looking for. Grezzo are employing, and the description was we're looking for people to help build a legend. So it's clearly fucking Majora's Mask 3D. So I can't wait for that. I've just got Bill Trin in here talking about the new Amiibo figures. Let's see if I can get a shot of um, the actual figures themselves here. The Smash Brothers ones, for sure. Here we go, here they are. There are the figures. So, Oh, there's more than that in, the, in one of the images, but there's, that's just a selection of them. Um, well, there's ten of them on that table, and he said that there's going to be ten of them in the first series, so I'd guess that that is the first series of figures that's going to be released. You've got Villager, Pikachu, DK, Link, uh, Mario, Wii Fit Trainer, Peach, M Samus, I almost said Metroid, I want to I wanna die, Yoshi and Kirby. So yeah, they look very good, very high quality figures, so if I do get them, I'll probably do like a little video, like opening it and like, like a close-up of the figure or whatever, but yeah. Mm. So that's about it. I know we didn't talk much about um, about Nintendo. So overall, Nintendo, I'm very happy with what they've done. I'm very looking forward to the months to come. <sighs> Nintendo. Do you remember? Was it you that when um, that came around and we built each other really hard levels on? You remember that Super Mario Flash, Flash game? I remember building really hard levels on that. Yeah, that was really good. That, and then you could like, you copy and pasted a code onto Microsoft Word, and it like made the level. Yeah. It, that was so good, that that game. I'll see if I can find that game, and I might play it. I mean, we should play it on a stream or something. We well, might as well wait until that that fucking yeah. actual level. Mario Maker does yeah, Mario Maker absolutely cool. amazing. Um, and we'll be making some Mario's happen. And speaking of Mario Maker coming out. Like, because I know we didn't speak much about non E3 stuff, but it's like not fresh in my mind at all. Like, because Nintendo stuff just basically taking my mind over. But, so the main thing that stays in my head. So, basically, yeah, my game of show for Nintendo was obviously the new Zelda game coming out, and then my game of show. Um, Your game of so, show? Well, game of show, I would go with. Uh, I don't know if. I don't know if I'll for. I don't know if Sapphire and Ruby were playable, but I'll just go with Game of Show playable as Smash Brothers Wii U, obviously, uh -huh. and then technically Zelda, but that wasn't playable. But and then Game of Show non non Nintendo is below definitely because it just looks absolutely incredible and it's going to be very atmospheric, atmospheric, <laughs> very atmospheric. No atmosphere. I can't wait to play. I can't wait to play video games. I love them. <laughs> Oh, here's a little Mario Party 10 trailer. Just in case you're wonder wondering. And a couple of other things here. Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton. Phoenix Wright versus Phoenix Wright. Um, <laughs> Phoenix Wright versus Eagle Wrong. Uh, <coughs> Mario versus... Oh my god, Mario versus Donkey Kong. Mario versus Sonic at the Olympic Games 4. Mario versus Donkey Kong. At the Wii Olympic Wii Games. I might get that. Um... So that's, that's a, oh yeah, Devil's Third as well. Basically, just other games, other stuff as well. <laughs> but if if I mean, I don't really think you come here for the direct news because you, you might as well just go to IGN.com or watch it directly from Nintendo. But this is just our views, so we know we're not going to go into fucking immense detail about games that we like about every game. You know what I mean? So yeah. Also, mm. one thing I don't know if I told you is that Little Big Planet Three. Do you know about that? A little bit of Planet Three is coming out. I know that you love a bit of Little Big Planet, don't you? Love a bit of Little Big Planet, of course I do. So, uh, do you want me to tell you something really awesome that's going to get your your, yeah. your nerves tingling, right? Well, you know, um, 
media molecule that made the original two games. They're not making the third one, it's someone else making it. But um, uh -huh. there was a gameplay demo in the Sony conference and it was pretty funny because it was these British people playing it and they were pretty shit at the game. But it was it, it made it funny and it was actually entertaining to watch. But um I'll see if I can get some I'll see if I can get Let Me Planet 3 up. But they announced new characters, like not just Sackboy that you play as. Sack um, girl. Sack. One of them's called Odd Sock, and it's like a dog, and it's so cool. And then one of them's like a fat, like big guy that weighs stuff down. And then one of them's like. Oh um, shit! So they have gameplay with characters. With the characters. Yeah. And then one of them. So there's That's Odd Sock. Really cool, um, and Odd Sock can like wall jump and stuff. One of them's called Swoop, and it's like a sack bird, and it looks really cool. And then that's the other one. Oh yeah, what's his name? Come on, tell me what his name is. Bob. Toggle, that's it. He's Toggle because he's like a massive fat guy, and then he can turn into a mini guy. So like the mini guy can go through little, little like passageways, and then the fat guy can weigh down like levers and stuff, right. and buttons to like get the others through. So it does definitely does look good. Very good. I can't wait. Like I'll say, I can't wait to play it, but I probably won't be able to. Like, um, I don't know. It, it, it looks good. Basically, mm. put it that way. And something that's really awesome as well that they that they announced was that, um... Was that, um... I was mesmerised by, by that one. Was that every... You know the... Um, Little thing is gonna be alright. <laughs> don't bring the horror of Shark Tale back. Uh, yeah, you know the announced, um... No, you know, in Little Big Planet One and Two, you've made your own levels and uploaded them to the thing and other the people. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, basically, plans. every level that's ever been uploaded to Little Big Planet One and Two is instantly in Little Big Planet Three. Little Big Planet Three in upgraded graphics. Whoa, that's fucking cool. I guess, I guess you won't. Be, I guess you'll have to be play a Sackboy on them though. Otherwise, like the new gameplay mechanics might mess up the levels up. That is actually a good point. Um, yeah, that's a very good point, actually. I'm assuming you'll be like four. I'm assuming like level designers will be able to choose which characters you can play as, and like maybe like all the default ones that come over only allow you to play as Sackboy. I'm just seeing other stuff that we never mentioned, and um, Uncharted 4 they showed at the end of the um, Sony conference a really, really very impressive trailer. Obviously, Mortal Kombat X. Um, oh, what's it called? The Division, you know the Division. The Da Vinci Code, the, the yeah, Division. The, the Da Vinci Code game. He plays Tom Hanks in um, first person. It's pretty good. Um, There's Tom Clancy in Rainbow Six Vegas too. Yeah, yeah, and in uh, his DLC. Full his, circle. His DLC for Mario Maker as well. Um, they showed Arkham Knight. That's Banjo. They showed Batman Arkham Knight driving the Batmobile round. That was good. Uh, they showed the Order 1886. It looked very good. And another one that looks absolutely amazing. I don't know if you've heard about this, but No Man's Sky. Have you heard about that? No. I have to tell you about this. Basically, it's a game about ex it's an indie game about ex exploration, yeah. But it's it's infinitely generating. So you st every player, it's, and it's an online MMO as well. So every player that joins starts on a new planet, yeah. And you can like fly, you explore the planet, discover new species of animal, there's infinite generating species of animal. You discover loads of stuff, it's really good HD graphics, amazing, looks amazing. Like, you're on a new planet, like different climate, different like environments, it just looks fucking amazing. And then you can fly ships and you can do anything and it's fucking, it looks too good and it's coming to PS4. But I think, it, I think it's coming to, P to PC as well. So if when it comes to PC, we're getting it. Yay! Let me just see if it's coming to PC as well. Yeah, it it uh, it was originally coming to PC, I think. So yeah, but yeah, it's coming to PC. PC. Um, but I think PS4 get it early because PS4 really, really did actually get some good things because they're getting No Man's Sky early and they're getting, um. Oh yeah, that's another big one as well. Is uh, Destiny? They're getting that early, um, and they're also getting um, Battlefront, but not Battlefront, Battlefield Hardline early as well. 
they had like a bit, an alpha or beta, Zeta or Omega, Ruby, something like that. Alpha, Omega. Alpha, Omega, Sin, something like that. As a YouTuber. Yeah, something like that. They had something. Um, but yeah. So overall, great show. I had a good Big time. fat dick. I didn't go. <laughs> what? <was laughs> I didn't go. I didn't go. I was sat on my couch. I, was sat, I wasn't. I didn't have a couch. I was sat on my computer chair watching IGN live. And I, I didn't, didn't even watch it. House. Nick right. didn't even watch it. So I, I couldn't. Just... Fucking exams. We need to go eventually. Yeah, we do. Start off with a bit of Zelda. One thing that I don't think enough people are talking about about the new Zelda get trailer either is Epona. Like well we don't know for sure that that's Epona, but he's riding a horse, so it like Can you like Epones ha 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 Well this has been Hillian Bandicoots everyone. Mm -hmm. that video and um also nothing. Do you have any last words to say? I paid twenty dollars to Minecraft Pro Hosting LLC to renew the server for next month. So everybody get down and play on redgate.mcph.co. Sure, do you want me to put a link in the description? Yeah, throw it in the description. I'll put a link in the description for next server, jail server. We, we might do a, we might do a live stream on that eventually. Yeah, I'm right. Speaking of which, actually, we were just about to do it, weren't we? And then my mic broke. Yeah, we were. We definitely, will do that. Uh, Hell to you. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it on Friday, but if I can, we'll do it on Friday. Sweet, that's so, good. So, there we go. Um, quickly as well, I forgot. Um, GTA 5 is coming to PC this fall. I'm fucking wasted. I'm what? Orange juice. Yeah, and by that I mean gin. Thanks for watching, okay. like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to... To do lots of drugs, I mean, do no drugs. Uh, well, do prescribed ones if you're ill. And if you are ill, hope you get better soon. Yeah. I actually went to the doctor the other day to get some prescription eye drops and antihistamines because my behaviour got quite bad. So Ooh, I hope you get better, mate. That's just a little bit of information that you didn't need to know. I am. Um, had my penis taken off. In HD graphics. Holy shit, it's 2015, I'm like, whoa!